Hey guys, so today I want to demonstrate how I'm cleaning my uh, Dolce Gusto Krups machine. So it's a very older model and I've been having it for like uh, three and a half, maybe four years already and it's working perfectly but obviously it needs uh, cleaning like every two or three weeks uh, because where i live the water is very hard and you can see how when it spills it gets stains and this part got stained too and that kind of stains actually um, uh, happen everywhere inside uh, the machine so that is why it needs regular cleaning Okay, so let me show you now what do I need for regular cleaning. I need my little towel for the coffee machine. It is a towel I prefer because it's like a bag. So I can literally put my hand in it. There it is. And I need some plain vinegar. So before I start cleaning, I will just uh, tidy up the mess. So this is my holder. Obviously, someone took advantage of it and made a mess, so now I'm just going to uh, put all the capsules in their right order, like this, space for some more capsules. So if you're not recycling the capsules of Dolce Gusta, you're probably making a lot of extra waste. But the good news is that they are recyclable and that is why we are always collecting them uh, in pots like this. Because once they are out of the machine, uh, you can actually... Uh, they, they have this little hole and uh, water and especially if it's a hot coffee then hot water comes out of it so uh, what we need is a pot where the water can fill up like this it's not actually water it's uh, the residue of the coffee so uh, the, the coffee liquid will uh, uh, contain itself here and uh, then once uh, the, uh, the capsules are emptier less water uh, is coming out uh, then uh, we will uh, recycle them but that is a subject for another video now i just need to uh, take this away in my um, in my kitchen sink where i do the recycling and i will do it later and i need to take this one off because this is just an empty box and I will wipe this place uh, together after the machine and uh, show you how um, if, uh, the machine is not descaled regularly uh, especially this model of machines they tend to uh, have water dripping on the lower part of the, of, uh, the, the kettle you see the water dripping? so this little part in the middle the one with the spiral in it actually uh, lets water drip you see how it drips if it is not descaled regularly and especially if you're using tap water which is with high uh, calcium and natrium content so that's what i'm going to do first i removed that part which I will uh, put the vinegar inside that instead of water and let it run throughout the whole machine okay so once it runs completely like the full uh, the full uh, quantity of uh, vinegar once it runs through the machine I will then use the same vinegar to wipe up all the scales of the machine like this uh, this I will take out and wash it uh, in the kitchen sink and this part too I will take it out and wash it in the kitchen sink and I will descale all of the other parts of the machine with the vinegar right away okay so what goes on here there's my part and this is a plain alcoholic vinegar only 13% anything between 5 and 13% will work so I just 
I'm just gonna pour it all the way up leave it for around 10 minutes maybe like this uh, so the inside of the container descales by the vinegar and then I will just put it here and let it run through the machine okay so now we're like 10 minutes later and this is the container there it is I'm mounting it on top of the machine okay so what I'm gonna do now is just use the same container that I just washed and turn back the little dryer uh, put the machine on like after 10 minutes 20 minutes of uh, having the vinegar stay inside this part the container of the machine I'm waiting for the light to turn green and I will power it on there is a little uh, imitation of a capsule that goes in this part but unfortunately I haven't uh, used it very recently and uh, I can't even find it in my kitchen otherwise that part is very useful so that the, the stream of the vinegar goes only in one direction okay let's see What I'm doing now is just making sure that half of the container goes through the hot uh, hot water side which is the one that we use most and then a part of the vinegar uh, travels through the cold water part of the machine because that one can get thin. I will again stop it and switch it to the cold water part once again this button is green. And once you hear this sound, it means that the whole content went through it and there is no more liquid in the container. So this is now our hot and smelly vinegar. And this is our uh, container that is clean from the inside. So uh, now I will leave the uh, inside of the machine full with the residue of the vinegar. Uh, put just a bit, a small amount on my towel just to wash the container from the outside and wash the parts that were not uh, touched by uh, subject to the vinegar in the previous part. So vinegar is probably the best way to descale any uh, object that is frequently in water you see how it just comes off you see so that is the power of plain alcoholic kitchen consumption vinegar see so this is the the outside is already descaled and this is the inside you see how the drop formations with natrium and calcium just fall off so if you have like uh, a good uh, uh, brush for brushing uh, bottles maybe, you may want to use it on this kind of container because it would clean it even better on the inside, like just like that. But if you don't have one, you really don't have to you know, uh, make a big deal out of this cleaning because once you do this like every few weeks, you will realize that it's actually not that important, the, the looks and the, the scales on the outside of the container, mainly because uh, what is most important is that uh, the machine works and the, uh, the, the scales of the water 
don't uh, break it and don't make it stop working. There is another part of, of the machine that you particularly want to clean well and throughout and this is the this part. So this part you want to push your towel inside with the hot vinegar and twist it round and round to make sure that because this is the part which when it gets the scale it starts uh, letting the water drip on the outside and possibly uh, making the machine work less and less day after day. Okay. So, This is the best I can do with a little towel, obviously. And now I will just continue on this side. And this is the place where um, the, the part that I show you actually is sealed. So you want this place to, to be washed well and throughout. Obviously, the first thing you have to do is uh, unplug the, the machine from, from the power. I didn't mention that in the beginning, but I realized it's kind of understood. <laughs> so, yeah. And now I will just wash it nice and easy with some vinegar rub it well everywhere where there is the white traces of the, of the water there it is there it is okay now i'm just turning this upside down okay so you see this is where your water drips and this is the place you need to clean best and make sure that there's no water over here. Mm -hmm. Okay, so now I will be going off to take uh, a dry towel just after I finish this part. Oh, you see there's some, still some vinegar coming out of the... needle because it's under pressure and now we're having the dirty part here Main, just be careful not to damage the needle so here you need to make lighter movements with with your little towel and prepare to make your towel dirty because this place is where the coffee comes out so it will leave some dark coffee Things on the towel, obviously. Okay, so this is all set and done. Now I will be just wiping everything off with a clean towel, clean and dry towel next. Okay, so what I'm gonna do next now is uh, put co clean cold water uh, in uh, the container so that once everything is wiped off uh, on, externally on the machine, I will uh, reassemble it and uh, put one container of water to run through the, uh, through the inside of the machine to make sure that all the vinegar that I put inside uh, actually comes out and the next coffee won't have a vinegar flavor. Before I do that, I wipe the machine on the outside make sure it's all clean and dry on the outside so that I can plug it plug the power cord there it is wipe 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 oh I didn't actually wipe this bit but you need to be careful with this because it's mainly rubber so yeah i don't want to press too hard here so it doesn't get 
Okay, so now I will plug the, the cord back here. There it is. And put it on. Provide uh, the container as clean as it gets. And now I will remove and making sure that the water will come through. It's all washed like this, so I'm getting to the end of the container already. I will remove this, wipe these guys. So you see, this is what happens when you don't use the uh, the, the streaming pipe that comes uh, with uh, with the machine. So this is like. Uh, a blank imitation of a capsule that actually uh, directs the stream in the middle and if you don't use it you will notice how uh, the water and the vinegar go throughout the whole the, the whole area and probably come out from the sides of the machine too but once you get the hang out of uh, using washing the machine I think it is not a problem not to use it anymore okay so now I will just return this uh, set these things together put them on the right place make sure water doesn't drip anymore see it doesn't drip because now the water container is clean and uh, there is no scale to make the uh, the, uh, the water flow uh, overflow uh, from the bottom of the machine and now I'm just going to take this away, dump it and uh, put on back all the other parts that I need to make coffee with my machine okay so what I'm going to do next is put this over here in the corner this is where I will dump uh, my used uh, capsules to make sure that the residue of the coffee just drips inside of them and this is where I will put my coffee uh, capsule holder so this is the place yeah and now I will prepare myself a nice cup of coffee so uh, before I do that I will make sure that wait a minute the container is full with new water so I will ditch this because it might smell as a vinegar and uh, I will uh, put on some new clean cold water and then make a coffee for myself okay so there it is this is the container full of cold water this is my cup and this is my capsule Press the needle down, hold the cup of the coffee, I will take out the needle, press the button to turn it off, take the capsule away, dump the capsule in this box that I placed here, return the little drawer, take my little plate for the coffee, and here it is. 
It's so lovely. I'm now going to sit there and sip this and once I'm done with this I will go in my kitchen sink to uh, prepare for recycling all of these capsules from the last week and of course I film you a new video about how to be um, ecologically and environmentally friendly uh, with your favorite Dolce Busta coffee and not put extra waste on the earth uh, but instead recycle uh, the, uh, the dump that you make uh, by enjoying your favorite coffee. Cheers!